Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Uh, as you guys know, when I go all in on something, I go all in. And if you tuned into this channel recently, you saw that we did a pretty in depth history of the banjo minnow. Well, I could not get off of my banjo craze without getting on the water at least a day or two with the new banjo minnow. And according to Wayne Hockmeyer, the inventor of the banjo minnow, any angler can catch fish on the banjo minnow. And I have got two of them right here that have yet to catch a fish on the banjo. We are on Lake Travis today. It is a little overcast. It was kind of sprinkling on us on the way here. So hopefully the weather holds, but the fish reports have been that the bass are shallow and they are in a little bit of uh, pre-spawn and post-spawn but they're buried in the weeds, which is the perfect conditions for the banjo minnow. We have got nothing but banjos on today. No crankbaits, no topwaters, no worms. We are going to see if this is the world's only genetic response fishing lure that can make fish hit even when they aren't hungry. All right, well, we are at our first spot of the day and we've got our brand new banjo minnow kit. I have actually not cracked this thing open aside from just kind of looking at it briefly on camera. So I will show you what's inside. And by the way, there were some comments on the last video. Folks were kind of uh, unsure if this thing comes together or if you can purchase it separately. This is the new all-in-one banjo kit. So what you see here is what you get and what you get is, is what you see here. So it does come in this nice, pretty thick pouch, which I do like. I'll save that for later. And there are five bags inside. The first one is the gear. That is the hooks, the stoppers, and the rubber bands or banjos. And then we have four different packs of this. We've got the yellow. I think we're gonna hook up Caroline with the yellow. We have got the shad pattern. I think I'm gonna be throwing that one. And then the green, which Waylon is gonna to be tossing as well. Uh, at some point, I'm definitely going to crack open this one as well. This is the brand new watermelon, but I am going to start with the old school colors first. Now, according to Ken Carey, there are five different ways that he likes to fish the banjo minnow. The first tactic is to cover water quickly. He recommends casting the banjo out there, reeling it a few feet on the surface, and then killing it. And then continuing that pattern back to the boat with a pretty quick, pretty shallow approach. If fish are not hidden on top, he recommends a little bit of a slower approach where you let the banjo sink three to four feet. Again, twitch and kill it, but work that lower water column. If that fails, Ken likes to get up shallow and target visible cover with the banjo. From there, he moves the points. And last but not least, if that doesn't work, he will actually try to drop shot the banjo minnow. These fish are, I'm thinking, up pretty shallow today, so hopefully methods one or two will be the ticket. The wind definitely died down. It's kind of fun to be able to see the banjo working. I don't know that that's the best for the fishing conditions, but we're gonna keep oh, working. God, I got one. I got oh, one. Wait, he's got a fish. Oh, oh no! Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Take your time. Oh my God, he's strong. <laughs> he's strong. Get him over here, there you go. Yes! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at that, Waylon. Bring in the banjo noise. Look at that dude. <laughs> nice, fish on the banjo minnow. So Waylon, what technique were you using? <laughs> um, I really don't know, Waylon technique. <laughs> the Waylon technique. Well, there we go. Nice banjo minnow right in the top of the mouth, just like you want him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, buddy, nice one. Thanks. Um, I'll let him go. Yeah, I'll sure. All right. Reach in there tight. Get a rip. Rip <laughs> <laughs> Out here throwing these crankbaits in the lake. Is it a crawdaddy or a snake? 
name Banjo, minnow, power pack frog Helicopter spinning, hung up on a log Crank baits up for sale Check out this worm with a 12-inch tail It's painted like a shad, polka dot of plaid If I pull out a longer, I won't be mad at these prank baits from TV By God, they're amazing Revolutionary motion, freshwater or ocean Toss them in the pond Filling out your quotient. Frank Bates are all I know. We got him. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. yeah, buddy. <laughs> that dead. At first, I thought it got stuck on the ground. It I was know. Like, it was literally just like holding Son, there. look at that. You got look at that fish, man. <laughs> nice one on the banjo for whaling. Son. So you let that thing sit a minute, didn't you? Yeah, so at first, literally, it, I look. totally thought it was just weeds because he just stayed there. Yeah, well, that's what they do. He hit it, and look at that little dude. That is a pretty looking little bass. Got a little belly on him, too. Look at that. <laughs> Until I started reeling, he was like, oh my gosh, I gotta move. Wow, that's a nice fish. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like that gonna... green might be the ticket today, huh? <laughs> We're all gonna be green. We should all switch now. to green now. Yes. Team green. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Can I have a green one? So here is the kit and we're gonna rig up uh, a brand new banjo minnow for you. So I will put this to the side. This is all the parts and the gear. And we'll go ahead and rig up one of these guys, that new watermelon color. Now, first things first, each of these does come with a variety of different sizes of minnows. And this one comes with Take one big dog. Two little guys. And I think two or three of these mediums. So we're gonna go ahead and rig up a medium banjo minnow now. One of the things I love that Ken did is he flattened the nose. It actually makes it a lot easier to get the corkscrew into the bait and keep it centered. But also that blunt nose actually gives the banjo a little bit of extra action. So the first thing I'll do is take the included corkscrew, the banjo. I try to start out with the thing as centered as possible. I've rigged up, I would say, a half dozen of these so far, and I haven't had any that were so off center that I had to redo it. But just screw that little corkscrew in, and there you go. Now, one little trick is I actually am gonna want the hook to be perpendicular to the bait. I don't want the bait to swim like this. I actually want it to swim like this so that when it has that dying motion, it sinks just on its side. So rig it up so that that cork screw is just like that. Here is the hook that is included. And when I bought this kit a year ago, this hook made me a little bit nervous and it ended up switching it out for a larger, more stout hook. In retrospect, that was actually, I think, a mistake. This bait is meant to be neutrally buoyant, and when you pause it, it almost suspends. With that heavier hook, I think my banjos were sinking too fast. So as of late, I've gone back to the included hook, and it has definitely worked out better as far as the action of the bait. So here's the hook itself. There's a little stopper here, and there's gonna be two of those that you put on. First, you put on one stopper. If I can see it. <laughs> and there's the stopper that I'm putting on. So there you go, there's stopper number one. Now it's time to put on my banjo. And yep, you can see that hook is perpendicular to the bait. So you don't want it to swim like this. You want it to be on its side. And now it's time for the second stopper. So our second stopper is gonna go on, just like that over the hook and pop it into place. And these are actually the perfect diameter for this. Notice that they're not moving around on that hook at all. And the goal is to have the banjo, sorry about the shadows, hanging out just right there at the tip of the hook. 
So that is the perfect orientation for the banjo. I gotta be honest with you, most of the time, I actually just finish my rig just like this without the weed guard. This thing sinks so slowly and it's got a really nice sort of planing bottom on it that it really doesn't get into the weeds so much that I really have to worry about that. But if you do want to add the rubber band, that's how the banjo got its name and I'll show you how to do that. So here is an included rubber band. The first step is to actually put it up at the eye of the hook like that. And then from there, you pull it down and pop it just over the barb of the hook. And there your banjo minnow is rigged up and ready to go. Oh, it's, it's a different rod though. Oh, wait, he's got a fish. Wait, let's go. Take your time. Let's go. Take your time. Okay, over here. Want to get it? No, no, no. Wait. Oh, my God. No. Wait, you reel it in. Take your time. Holy. Oh, my God. That's a giant fish. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Take your time. Don't fight. Take your time. 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 Let's get him. Take your time. Oh, let's go. I think that's the biggest bass ever caught on retro bass in Wayland. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, son, would that's you look here. at that oh. tank of a bass. Holy mackerel, buddy. Yeah. Oh, son, here. Uh -huh. You grab him. Oh, you gonna take, that's a two-hander. Oh my oh, gosh. He's heavy. Oh, we need to wait. Oh. <laughs> well, son, look at that. There is a tank. <laughs> <laughs> of a bass on the old retro bass and show. Oh, you even put him up oh close. that is a monster. Look at that guy. Holy smokes. Oh my so woo Waylon. <laughs> wow. How are you feeling about that? Awesome. <laughs> well that is a uh, a honey of a largemouth bass uh, wrapping up the day with the banjo minnow. <laughs> We uh, actually had a pretty tough time out here, all said and done. The weather just was not cooperating. The wind was pretty calm all day, but last spot right before the boat ramp, and there we go. All right, let's get a picture of this guy, and we'll let him go, huh? Okay. Do you know how nervous you were, Dad? Uh, you have no idea how nervous I was. I was super nervous. You're like, oh my god, let's get him. Hey! Awesome. Oh my, he's huge. <laughs> he's just huge. He hurts so good. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let this one go back, do a little spawning, and, uh, wow! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. That's bigger than me. How much pounds do you think that weighs? Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastard.